Okay, uh, I'm gonna check this boss pedal phase shifter PH3 has a distorted sound and no battery in input from 9 volt battery. Okay, this is the main board for the uh, Boss FX PH3 Phase Shifter 3. I believe this is a seven-step switch, 50k ohm RD91F09. I check with multimeter with the continuity test. Put the negative probe to the ground. This is good capacitors, good, and this one is short, uh, short capacitors. This is good, and I found uh, several capacitors. It's not making any connection. For example, here. There is no connection to the ground. This is good. Good. Here also there is no connection. No connection also here. So uh, that's why I'm gonna try to replace this uh, op -M IC, Operational Amplifier IC. I already uh, pull out from the board. Also, I'm gonna check the SMD capacitors. I'm gonna replace this. These are uh, connected to the sound controllers, the capacitors. This is good. This is the short, the short capacitors. I'm gonna replace this. I have the diagrams from the internet. Unfortunately, the diagram is not clear. The picture is not clear because maybe it's a capturing from the image, not the factor PDF. I still can read some value here. These are uh, capacitors connected to the the CPU, the sound controller here, and one of the capacitors here is a uh, short I found the value it is uh, 0 0.1 microfarad all the same 0 0.1 microfarad in this area so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to replace this let's see if it still has a uh, short put the black probe into the ground this is for C47 this is good this is good this is the short one this is good capacitor is short I'm gonna try to pull this out ok I already pull out the C50 the capacitors, I believe from the diagram it's a 0 0.1 microfarad. Let's check again with the multimeter. It still have short. I don't know from where, I'm gonna check from the diagram. To make sure I want to check the capacitors. Yes, the capacitors also short. It still have short. <clears throat> okay, I already replaced the. It is 0 0.1 microfarad, but I guess it still have short. Also, I found there is a also short diode here.
I need to read the diagram to find the code for this diode. Yeah, it's short. And I don't know this one also short. Okay, this is my suspect diode. This both diode is the same type. It's it is uh, SS14. Uh, let's check with the continuity test diode test. Yes, this one is short. This one is not short. Okay, I'm gonna try to replace this. Okay, let's compare with the new diode. This is OL, open lines. And if you reverse the probe, it's supposed to be reading. Yes, 0 0.104. So I'm gonna replace this one and please remember there's a sign for the diode there's a line in one of the side that is a cathode side for negative please remember this line to put the component in the correct position Okay, let's check again the old diode. 0 0.095 1.30 And check this. Oh, this line has short. So we need to find where this short come from. Okay, after removing this uh, SS14 diode I found there is no short anymore from these capacitors. It was before sh short, so I, I replaced this one. No short anymore. This is good. Now this one is not short anymore after I removing this SS14 diode. My suspicion is uh, this double capacitor here. I don't know I can find this uh, replacement or not. Because it has a short in any direction. And it may causing this short also. So maybe I'm gonna try to remove this capacitor also and let's see if it still have short here okay let's check again okay now not short so this uh, capacitor is making the short short so I'm gonna check for the, the diagram for a C33 and C100 what kind of this uh, capacitors what the size right now I don't have the uh, replacement part for this component that causing this diode short now it's not short anymore so maybe I'm gonna continue later okay thank you for watching please comment subscribe and share if you like and see you in my next videos terima kasih